Coronacation, and welcome to day 90! That's... that's... Boy, how many you got up? You got nine? What do I put a ten up? Zero? I don't, I mean, I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. I know, I love it. That's my favorite part. I hope that you have been having a great day. Today is Friday. It is Friday. TGIF. Yep. Did you do anything fun this weekend? You know, I don't know. I don't know. We should eat a burger. Oh, we... We might. We might need to cook it ourselves because I don't know if any great burger places are open. Well, mustard seeds open. We can That's eat. That's true. Uh, Mambo Tambo. Mm. Maybe we're thinking about the same burger. Woman and Finch. Yeah. Great oh. burger. So good. Hey, so <laughs> we're not supposed to be talking about food right now. We talked about food like all we week, talk, though. We I, have. It made me excited for the weekend. More food. We have. Um, but today, I thought it would be cool to share some fun facts. Okay. Because, you know, we're talking about faith. Faith is believing in what we hope for. It is being sure of what we do not see um, based on facts. We get, we'll get to that in a minute. Mm -hmm. um, but I thought it would be cool to share some. So are these facts like fact? Corey likes dogs better than cats? See, I think that's an opinion. Okay. I mean, it is, okay. a, it is a fact for you. So, I mean, yeah, I guess. I guess. But no, these are like facts for every, everyone. Pretty much obeys. So we're gonna facts. dig deep into our knowledge, yes. and wisdom deep yeah. down in there, yep. or possibly the sheet of paper that's taped to yeah. the camera. We, I have some listed <laughs> up, so you might see us reading them. <laughs> but um, here we go. I'll, I'll do the first one. Okay. okay. So there are two thousand thunderstorms on Earth every minute. How crazy is that? I like one every watching. minute. Every minute. Ooh. I That's like a watching lot of storms. Yeah, I like watching thunderstorms. Like when I'm at the beach and I can see them. Well, well, did you know in those thunderstorms it's raining, and in the rain there's the vitamin B12. That's cool. So I could like go play in the rain and get my vitamins. As long as your mouth is open. If I need, do your does your skin soak it in? I don't know. It's um, not a fact that I, I don't. Have. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. <laughs> so this is cool for coronation because uh -huh. they're at an age where they can start young. This one. Walt Disney, a lot of you guys know Disney, Good he old. started drawing regularly when he was four years old. Four? Four. He started early. Hmm. And then, man, Disney, we all know what Disney is now. Yeah. All because he started drawing when he was young. Speaking of, we got to try to tie these in. You go after mine. Okay. Speaking of people doing things earlier before they did things, um, did you know that Abraham... Lincoln, like the president got the tall hat, mm -hmm. big goatee. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that he was a wrestler really? before he was a president. How crazy is that? That is really crazy. Can you picture a president wrestling? That would be awesome. <laughs> picture that. That would be really cool. And you know, I bet as a wrestler, uh -huh. um, he had to eat. And so. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so I imagine that he ate some French fries, mm -hmm. if they had French fries back in the day. But anyway, the world's longest french fry is 34 inches long that's whoa that's a long does that mean, I mean that it's one potato i guess so they would have to curve or the was it a, was it yeah a curly potato that stretched oh. out i don't know well speaking of french uh people in france look at the moon they do <laughs> did you we know that do. the moon is very hot uh 224 degrees fahrenheit on average that would and, boil you. Like, that's during the day, yeah. but at night, it's negative 243. That is, is freezing that beyond freezing. Is that our day or the moon day? Because doesn't it, or is it the same? These are some deep questions. Mm, I don't know. I don't know that fact. You'd have to Google it. I would. I would. Find a reputable site. I don't want you Googling. Okay, so I know that the moon has to do with the waves and uh -huh. the gravitational pull and stuff. Yeah. In the ocean. And there's shrimp in the ocean. Yeah, let's see where you're going with this. And um, shrimp's hearts like doo -doo 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 are in their head. Oh, that's weird. That is weird. I would not have pictured it mm. there. Where's their brain? Maybe in their head. Maybe where their heart's supposed to be. I don't know. I, I don't know that fact. I, I, didn't, I didn't dig that deep. I like shrimp, but they smell real yeah. like strong. There's a strong yeah. shrimp smell. Um, and speaking of smells, did you know that the nose can detect a trillion smells? That is crazy. A trillion. A trillion smells. So it can I'll, detect I wonder how many of those are. coffee breath as well mm. as just 
regular bad breath as well as what if like um, yeah. skunk little jelly bean breath or oh. dog food jelly bean breath oh. like it could that just brings back memories I know that's a fun episode oh gosh <laughs> oh I can taste it again that trash can right over there is where I went spit up I believe it rotten egg almost said scrambled eggs scrambled yeah. eggs are good um, but the smell thing mm-hmm. let's go back to that you know I wonder how many of our kids have been brushing their teeth every day. Every day, right? I hope. Twice a day. I hope it's been every day. At least every day. Mm-hmm. Twice a day. Because um, you got to keep them strong. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, which is my next fact. Uh-huh. Human teeth are just as strong as sharks' teeth. Ooh. We think of sharks as like the predators, you know, of the ocean, which they are. But like our teeth are just as strong. Just as strong, but not as sharp. Not as sharp. But I wonder, I wonder how many um, human attacks there's been on sharks. How many life. humans have bit a shark? Bit a shark. Yeah. Uh, probably less than sharks probably have so. bit humans. And speaking of sharks, sharks got that cartilage for their fins and stuff like yeah. that. It made me think of the cartilage in my okay. ears and uh, maybe my nose. I think you have cartilage there. Did you know that your ear and nose never stop growing? Really? Which means that this mammoth beast will keep. When I'm 60, it might be like this big, yeah. and when I'm 80, it might be like this yeah, big, I don't know. Yeah. They never stop growing. That's a crazy fact. Well, the good news is is it not like I don't think your elbow does. Right. I don't think it keeps nope. growing. Nope. But you can't lick your own elbow. Like I try it. Try okay. it. Try. It. Yeah. Huh. I can't. I've seen someone get Somebody, I'm sure can has got like the double jointed or something. Yeah, and man, when I was making this elbow licking thing, it kind of resembled a four, which made me think about That's my a- next <laughs> fact, that the letter four has the same, uh, like, number? What is the fact? <laughs> number four is the only one, one that has the same amount of letters. Right, F-O-U-R, so. F-O-U-R, four. O-N-E, there's more than one. Yep. Two. F-I-V-E, there's not five. Two, I guess it depends T- on which two W-O, you use. T-W-O, if you spell it <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> that one confused me when I wrote it down. Okay. I'm yeah. glad I was able to clear it up. Okay, but since we're counting. Yes. Since we're counting, uh-huh. th- you know, That's... when you when you play with dice. Yeah. Uh, which, by the way, this is fun. Mm-hmm. Connecting these, I like it. Uh-huh. Stretching my head. Uh, my mind. But when you, when you roll dice... The, the number that's on the table, or like on the ground, that's bottom down, Yeah. the number on top, those two numbers always add up to seven. Seven? Yeah. Did you know that when you fart, you made these facts, by the way, <laughs> it comes out at seven miles per hour, and you do that <laughs> 14 times a day. <laughs> that's a lot of wind. Yeah, that is. I can't believe you just said that. I, you wrote it I, on the piece of paper. Speaking about miles per hour. Okay. A typical cough, which you know we're not supposed to be doing right now. Yeah. A lot of people have farted to cover up a cough lately. Oh. Um, you know, with all this COVID stuff going yeah. around. Uh, a typical cough is 60 miles an hour, which is crazy. But a sneeze, a sneeze can come out at 100 miles per hour. That's crazy. Wow. Man. Those are both numbers. Which remind me of my last fact. <laughs> it's a number. There are 31,556,926 seconds in a year. In a year? Yes. That's, that's a lot of seconds. Let's count them. I'll start next year. Okay. Yeah. That's a lot of facts. Thank you it for putting them mean, on the sheet. For I didn't even. know <laughs> those before I looked them up. Hopefully okay. they're actually true. I just got them off Google. Uh-oh. But You know, one thing we know is true. <laughs> Is the work of God. Oh, absolutely. We know that's true. You know, we can search Google and we can find weird facts like this, and they're fun. They're mm-hmm. fun to talk about. But one thing that we can trust, fully rely on, put all of our faith in, is the Word of God. It's powerful and effective. It's yeah. what I base my life off yep. of. Every decision. And so I love to be able to depend on that, to have faith in that it's true. Yep. And, you know, we're talking about faith. Mm-hmm. We've been talking about faith. All month long. And faith is being sure what you hope for, being sure of what you cannot see. Oh, you got lazy. Oh, sorry. <laughs> see, so 
we can't, like we've talked about before, we can't see Jesus right now. We can't. We just can't. We can't. We can't see the time that he spent with his disciples. Mm -hmm. We can't see that right now, but we can read about it. That's true. And we can see others around us who he has changed. I mean, I, I know some people that have like, you're not who you used to be. Like, it's just totally different. And yeah. the only explanation is that Jesus changed their heart. Yeah. Um, and so we can see those, and it, it's fact. I don't care what people tell you. Jesus is real, and what he does is real. And we have evidence to prove it. That's fun. It's fun looking at facts about sharp teeth and yeah. farts. Yeah, which you know it's cool. See, it created all of what we just talked about. He did. I, I love it's looking cool. at the evidence of my faith as well as yep. just these it's fun. random things like 34 inch french fry. Okay, so I have, I hopefully have a special guest today. Ooh, ooh that'd be fun. I've talked to him. Ooh, is you, it a new guest? Is it a reoccurring it's guest? It's a new guest. New guest. Um, okay, you. Is it, are we playing 20 questions right now? puts a lot of pressure on if that guest actually yeah. shows up or not. It's so, true. Um, let's say it's a new guest. New guest. And if the new guest that you don't have lined up, then you're going to have to find a new new guest. I'll find a new guest. Either a new, way, new guest. We'll, a new new guest. A new new guest. A new new. Good luck. Can we make that a word? New new? It is a word. New new, new guest. New new. Yeah. Okay. Google it. All right. We'll see you shortly. Bye. What's up, Chronication? I hope you guys are doing awesome. Um, Andrew wanted me to share a time in my life where I had to show some pretty intense faith. And one of the times that I can remember the most is something that just happened about a year ago when I jumped out of an airplane. It was an incredible experience, but it was the fear that I had leading up to that moment. And I want to talk about that fear. So I'm in this plane and we are at 14,500 feet in the air. And what's crazy about this is the thing that I was most worried about, the thing that I had the most fear was, was the parachute going to open when I jumped out of the plane. That was my biggest fear. It wasn't really jumping out of the plane, although that was pretty scary in and of itself, but it was falling. And after falling for a certain amount of time, knowing that the parachute should open, is it going to open when it's supposed to open? Because if it doesn't open, then like, you know the rest of the story, like it's not good. And so we are flying, we get up to 14,500 feet, the air is cold, it's incredible, it's a clear day, and the door to the plane opens up. And so we scoot to the edge of the plane, incredible experience. I'm looking down, everything is incredibly small, and he says, okay, here we go, three, two, one, and we barrel roll out of the plane and we start falling like crazy. Like I'm talking incredible falling. The wind is blowing, man. My lips, my, my tongue, everything is dry in my mouth because I'm screaming, excited. And what's crazy is, is that we free falled for about an entire minute to the ground. Incredible. But what was the most amazing thing about the whole experience is that the one thing that I feared the most, the one thing that I feared the most, I had totally forgotten about. And as I'm falling through the air, and we get into like a minute of free fall, before I know it, the parachute opens. And I don't even have time to think about my fear anymore. Because I was enjoying the fall so much, and so excited about the fall, that before I know it, out of nowhere, the parachute opens. And the thing that I feared the most, as soon as I fell out of the plane, as soon as I barrel rolled out of the thing, the thing that I feared the most, I completely forgot about. And before I know it, the parachute opens and we're falling to the ground with the parachute. And it was an incredible experience. But the one thing that I wanna tell you is that oftentimes faith, man, it's crazy to think that jumping out of a plane and a parachute, like that whole concept is a crazy thought. Like who would jump out of a perfectly good plane, right? But what's amazing is, is that when I jumped out of the plane, I just trusted and I enjoyed that experience. I enjoyed that free fall. And before I know it, the parachute opened. And I think a lot of times that's what God wants in our life 
is that he wants us just to jump out of the plane. Not literally, although some of you may, but sometimes God wants us to just trust him and jump. And the things that we fear the most about jumping, when we jump, God takes those things away from us because we've trusted in him. And before we know it, the things that we fear the most don't happen because we put our faith and our trust in God. And the parachute of our life opens up and we, and it's then that we realize, oh my gosh, the thing that I feared the most, actually, the thing that I feared the most of not happening, the parachute not opening, is the very thing that did happen. It opened. And that's what God wants. He wants you to trust him. I hope you guys have an incredible day. I'll talk to you guys later. Love you guys. Hey, Tucker. Hey, Andrew. I, um, I hacked your computer. Okay. Not really. I sent it to you and you accepted it. Yes. I want you to play a game for okay. your location. Okay. It's called Fact or Fiction. Today is Factual Friday. I'm calling it. It's something like that. You're speaking it into existence. Yes. I like it. And these are Bible facts or okay. Bible fictions. Okay. Let's see how you do. I'm... How well do you know <laughs> the Bible? This is really going to test, test my livelihood as a pastor. Yeah. Let's do it. All right, go ahead. Okay. I'll sit here with you. Okay. There's no sound. Okay. Not up for here. It will be in the in okay. chronication. Your job is to decide which statement are facts and which are fiction. Um, fact means something is true. Okay. Facts will light up green. Fiction will light up red. Okay. Fact or fiction, the oldest person in the Bible is Moses. The wisest person, B. I'm going to go with B as the fact and A as the fiction. Look at you, man. Methuselah. Methuselah. Just remember, you do have time. Okay. The strongest man in the Bible is Samson. No, it's Jesus. The tallest villain in the Bible is Samson. It, uh, a is a uh, fact. Yeah. <laughs> <Go on. laughs> and no, it's Jesus. The Bible is written by over 40 authors. The Bible is written on the continents Asia, Africa, and North America. A is fact. B is fiction. Drum roll. Got it. It was not You're really doing well. I am a good pastor, it looks like. The full Bible has been translated in 3,000 languages. The Bible was first printed, was the first book to be printed. Oh, B is the fact. No. Yes. Nice. The 6,500 known languages. That's impressive. Noah was 600 year, years old when he built the ark. Noah was 100 years old when he... See, Noah was very old. I'm going to go with A as the fact. Tucker, I'm impressed. You're doing great. I am a, I'm smart. I promise you guys, I'm smart. David played the music to calm and refresh King Saul. The king threw Daniel, threw Daniel into a tiger stand after it was uh, B. I, I spazzed out. I couldn't read. Tigers, obviously. Mm. All right. Jesus was born in Jerusalem. Jesus was tempted three times in the desert. Uh, Jesus was born in Bethlehem. So A is fiction. B is fact. Very I even did the nice. commentary. Did the commentary. <sighs> okay. The longest book of the Bible is Jeremiah. The shortest book of the Bible is Third John. B is the fact. I'm gonna go with B is the fact. I've read Third John and I know it's. Oh! Oh, psycho! <laughs> That's impressed. That got me. Okay. The Bible was written in four different languages. The first book of the New Testament is the Book of Mark. Okay, so I'm gonna go with both fiction. The Bible's right. Yep. Well done. I know. Well done. Okay. Job is believed to be the oldest book in the Bible. The book of Revelation was um, B is the fact. A, I still believe is fiction. I believe. I think it's opposite. Yep. <sighs> Mind blown. <laughs> what? How many questions were there, though? There were 10. Thanks for playing, um, Tuck. Uh, the last one, it throws us for a loop. Yeah, it does. It, it, Peter, second... The second book of Peter yeah. is actually the oldest. I mean, the newest. What? The youngest. Revelation, right, is the youngest. Gotcha. Revelation was written before. It's pretty cool. That was pretty cool. I learned a lot during this game. I hope you did too. I did. I did. That was very good. All right, Coronation. See you later. See you guys.